EMR CPOE prescriptions implementing EPCS and prognosis overview. EPCS is electronically prescribing controlled substances. There are several action steps involved with enabling EPCS, which we're going to summarize in this video. The actual demonstration of these steps are covered in separate videos here on the Resource Center. The first requirement of SureScript is that the EHR, of course, be certified and Prognosis has achieved a gold certification level with them. In addition, your state needs to participate and as of 2016, all 50 states and District of Columbia are federally approved and participating in the program. Now you'll notice the website link here at the bottom is the EPCS homepage of SureScript, which has a state readiness section. So if you do have any questions regarding your specific state, feel free to check that link out. The next action step would be for the providers to be enrolled. Now EPCS is a separate service within SureScript that must be specifically requested. So as an existing client with Prognosis, you may be enabled for standard e-prescribing, but you will have to separately ask for EPCS if you choose to go that route. You can do this by contacting your implementation manager if you are still in the process of implementing as a new client or through technical support if you are one of our established live clients. The next step for each provider is to go through an identity proofing. Now this is a federal requirement that requires each prescribing provider prove who he or she is. This is similar to going to the DMV and getting a driver's license where they require that you show several forms of ID, social security card, a bill with an address, passport, and so on. It will be a process where you prove that you are who you are. Following identity proofing, the next requirement is to obtain credentials for the two-factor authentication method. This will ensure that unauthorized users cannot write e-prescriptions of controlled substances. Two-factor authentication is something that we use in our daily lives when we go to an ATM machine to withdraw money. The two factors that identify us or prove who we are are the physical ATM card as well as the personal identification number associated to that card. The EPCS equivalent of the ATM card is the token. The equivalent of the PIN number is the OTP password. Once the two-factor authentication is activated and registered, there is then some setup required in Prognosis, and this happens by two different individuals. There is going to be one individual who enables each provider for the functionality and then another user who actually approves the provider's functionality and registers the token and digital certificate which is going to permit the EPCS for that provider. Now this individual must also be a DEA registrant who has been identity proofed and has a personal token. Now there's nothing to show for these first two action steps but we're going to briefly look at the identity proofing, the two-factor authentication, and then the setup and prognosis. Now, as regards the identity proofing, this is the step by which you prove you are who you say you are. Now, when doing this remotely, you're going to be asked to define and answer some security questions and maybe to email a scanned copy of your driver's license or your passport, something that is going to prove you are, in fact, yourself. Now, to do this, Prognosis has partnered with a company called Identrust Global Common Digital Certificates. They will perform this identity proofing as well as provide the security tokens to you. So you'll see the website here of the Prognosis page with Identrust where you can procure your token. Now keep in mind this occurs external to Prognosis. Even though we're in partnership, this is between you as the prescribing provider and IGC because it is a personal, individual identity proofing. We do have a video here on the Resource Center called EPCS Identity Proofing that walks you through this process of entering your security questions, creating your password, as well as ordering your token. Now there are two types of token, a standard USB which is limited to work only with Internet Explorer and it must be physically attached to the computer when writing a prescription or the hybrid one-time password token which is actually the one we recommend. This is multi-browser compatible and it actually serves as two devices in one, meaning it has the digital certificate 
as well as the token password. And that password can auto-generate randomly every 60 seconds. And the other benefit is that the token does not have to be physically attached to the computer in order to do the e-prescription. So when the token arrives at your home after you've ordered it, the contents are going to be your token. This is a front and back view. You're going to have an installation CD of the SafeNet authentication software. And there's going to be an instruction letter. Now this instruction letter is going to include a default password, which you are going to be required to change as you go through the registration process. You'll see there at the bottom there is an FAQ page to help you in installing and authenticating the token once you receive it. This again is external to prognosis. Then within 90 days of applying for the token, you must authenticate it. Authenticating the token is what will actually install and register the digital certificate, which is what enables you to electronically sign your prescriptions. So this is done by installing that SafeNet software on the CD that comes in the package. Then you're going to actually set your token password, which requires you to physically insert the token into your computer and then follow the prompts. This is when it will ask you to enter the default current password, which is included on the letter. This password is what secures the token to your digital certificate, similar to that PIN number on your ATM card. Next, you're going to retrieve the digital certificate for your token. This involves navigating to the IDENTRUST site, entering the activation code from the letter, as well as the account password you initially defined for yourself in the application process for the token. Finally, you're going to enable the one-time password functionality on your token. Now, as we mentioned, there is a video on the Resource Center that takes you through this entire process so that you can see the actual screens on the IDENTRUST website. Once the prescriber has been identity proofed and the token has been authenticated, the last action task in enabling EPCS is to do the appropriate setup and prognosis. Now this involves two separate individuals associated with the clinic who can personally verify the identity of each prescribing provider. The first part is to assign a user the user role of enable EPCS. Now this user can be anyone other than the provider being enabled, such as a nurse, a medical assistant, or an office manager. Now what this does is allow the user with this role to enable the EPCS functionality for each prescribing provider by accessing each one's user profile and enabling it. Now the second individual is assigned the role Approve EPCS. And this user, once each provider has been enabled, also goes into the provider's user profile and registers the token or digital certificate that was just authenticated in the earlier step and also sets the one-time password within the EPCS module of prognosis. Now it's important to note that this particular user must be a DEA registrant who has also been identity proofed and has a personal token, although this person does not have to be a practicing provider in your clinic. Now in a single provider clinic, the approved EPCS user may also be the prescribing provider. In a multi-provider clinic, however, only one of the providers needs to be designated as the approver and he or she can approve all other providers in the practice. Please see the video setting up EPCS and prognosis to see this process. So in summary, for implementing electronically prescribing of controlled substances and prognosis, providers must initially be enrolled for the service through SureScript. That is done through prognosis. Providers then, outside of prognosis, must complete an identity proofing, which is a federal requirement. There is a partnership between prognosis and IDENTRUST IGC, which allows you to go through this security. That will also then allow you to procure for yourself a token and authenticate it, which means retrieve and activate the digital certificate and then register and activate your token password. There will then be a setup within prognosis by two different individuals within your practice, one that enables the functionality for each provider and the other that approves it. And now at this point, the providers may now send controlled substance prescriptions electronically as we discuss in the next video within this series.